quick little video on uh, race night. We did the head video on replacing the cylinder head in the 3.6, and the harmonic balancer bolt was so hard to get loose, we had to use a piece of pipe he had in his garage. And, uh, I, you know, I was thinking about a debulgent one time, and I had some adapters you can get from uh, different companies to add to wrenches and add that to add a breaker bar to it. But the problem is the breaker bar isn't even enough. You need something more on it, so you need a pipe to give you extra long lever leverage. So what I did was I found a piece of pipe, steel pipe, on Home Depot, you can get them at Lowe's too. Uh, this one here has got the uh, one inch inside diameter. They put these caps on to protect threads. I got the threaded ones because I think they're stronger, in my personal opinion. And then this one is inch and a quarter. Uh, and I just kept these on. They still have the holes in the center. And uh, of course what I did was I used etching, self etching primer. I primed them and then I had some leftover uh, red caliper paint. Uh, so I painted with the red caliper paint just to to make them easier to find in the corner of the garage when I stick them in the corner of the garage, I'm done. But just to show you what what they use them for, my wife's like, well, "What are you What are you spending forty bucks on on pipe for?" Well, <laughs> I showed her. So basically, you, you're taking your your bar. That one's the rubber cap won't go down, but you slide it in there, and it basically gives you an extension. You can adjust up or down, and this is with the rubber caps. You can take the rubber caps off if you want. Uh, it, you're just cushioning it a little more when you do it. So you can scratch your bar up. And they'll last for a while until they break off. But uh, basically, you put your breaker bar in there. It gives you all that extra leverage that you can uh, take and, uh, uh, you know, get the leverage on those bolts that are extremely hard to uh, get loose. Uh, it'll fit almost any of these that I have. Uh, I, I put them, I took the cap off early to show, and it, it'll fit any of these. It'll fit, the one inch will fit all of them. Uh, the only reason why you're not seeing it right now is because it's got the cap on it. The cap takes up a little bit of the room uh, for it to go in. But it will go in the half inch there. I can twist that off and show you, I guess, real quick. But, I mean, the one inch. The one inch is plenty big enough. And uh, I'm going to just twist it off real quick and show you. Just in case. I'm like, whoa, I didn't see it fit. So, okay, so there's the cap is off for the protect threads, which, like I say, I'm not using the threads on the end of it, but I leave it on so it doesn't damage anything else. And I can cut the threads off, but hey, it gives me a little extra leverage. And see, it does fit perfectly in there, these bigger. My snap-on fits, almost all my bars fit, and they'll go in and you can, then you've got an extension for your breaker bar. And uh, I just leave those caps on for now and I can just take them off whenever I want. And it's just a quick little way to protect your, uh, Break the bar by putting the cap on there, I guess, if you want. You don't have to, or I could maybe cut those off, but I, I just felt like I'll leave them on. I'm not going to mess with it, try to spend time cutting the threads off. But uh, the, the strength of the pipe was harder with the threads. I don't know why, maybe because it has to be cut and threaded. But I bought two of them, and they were like 40 bucks for both. Uh, one's an inch diameter, and one's an uh, well, inch and a quarter diameter. That's just a quick little video in case anyone's interested. Uh, they're, you know, you know, thinking about uh, how am I going to get these bolts loose? Just get you a piece of pipe, put it on the end of your breaker bar, and you got it done.